The night had begun like any other. I had settled into bed, drifting off to sleep with my phone by my side. But as I lay there, I felt a creeping sense of unease. Something wasn't right. That's when I heard it, a faint scratching noise coming from the other side of the wall. At first, I tried to ignore it, chalking it up to the house settling, but the scratching continued, growing louder and more insistent with each passing minute. I got out of bed and crept over to the wall, trying to pinpoint the source of the noise. That's when I saw it, a small hole, barely visible in the dim light. And something was moving inside it. My heart raced with fear. Was it a rat, a mouse, or something worse? Without warning, the scratching stopped, and in its place I heard a faint whispering voice, like something was speaking directly to me. Come closer, the voice said, beckoning me to the wall. I have something to show you. My heart pounding, I put my ear to the wall, straining to hear the voice, and that's when it happened. A cold, clammy hand reached through the hole, grabbing me by the hair. I screamed, trying to pull away, but the hand held tight. And then, as suddenly as it had appeared, it was gone. I didn't sleep that night. Instead, I lay awake, listening to the faint whispers from the other side of the wall. It was like something was watching me, waiting for me to let my guard down. And as the days turned into weeks, I found myself growing more and more paranoid. Every creak of the house, every stray sound made me jump. It was like something was made me, and I didn't know how to make it go away. I tried to ignore it, to go about my life as usual, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something was lurking just out of sight. In the end, I moved out. I couldn't stand the thought of living in a house with something so malevolent lurking behind the walls. But even now, years later, I still hear the whispers in my dreams, calling me back to that dark and twisted place. And every time I hear them, I know that something unspeakable is waiting for me on the other side.